Hi there, Claire Maxwell with the Alexander Technique. This is my third video on how to stand on one leg. It's a rich topic <laughs> and I've enjoyed looking at it. So um, I hope you watch the other two because this one will make more sense if you do. And uh, so we're just gonna start right off with the last movement form. But it is important that you remember that what we're doing is we're paying attention to ourselves in a particular way. So we have uh, woken up the skin on the heel bone, on our talus bone, and in particular we're including the, the side of the heel bone that's closest to your midline, so the inside part of it. Um, and this part of our uh, foot is right underneath the weight of our head. And so everything we're going to do now is about spiraling around that contact point. We've already looked at side to side shifting and we've looked at front to back shifting. So we've woken up a lot of the muscles around our torso. And the last thing we're going to look at is spiraling. So with the contact point and the question of how is that contributing to the ease in my neck? And this is great because you can do this in secret. No one would ever know you're doing it. So if you're standing in a dance class or you're in a yoga class, this is something that you can practice in any movement form. So what you're going to do with your nose over your midline, you're just looking right out, noticing everything around you, your peripheral vision, your field of vision is open, and you're going to look along the horizon line just as far as you feel comfortable. And that's going to bring, for me, I'm looking kind of over my shoulder uh, to the quarter over this way. And you might need to wait a moment there to let your body figure out how to balance the weight of your head over this foot because your jaw um, is pretty heavy and it's shifted over to one side of your body. So what you'll find is that you kind of automatically have more weight over your, the, the foot towards the side that you're looking out. But it's really important to really see what's out there so that as you begin to play with lifting just the heel of the other foot, it's, it's um, supporting you in being able to see where you are. And you can also take in the contact of that big toe pad and say, hmm, I wonder how that contributes to my ease, to the ease in my throat, in my neck. And then you bring your gaze right back to the center and let your heel come down. And then you're going to go looking out to the other side, the other way. And you may get a lot of, you may have different challenges on either leg. So the contact of the heel, seeing where you're looking, ah, a little bit of ease, and then beginning to bring up this heel. And then you're going to look back to the center and you're going to just keep right on looking around yourself. And what you'll notice is it starts to get easier for your field of vision to go further and further behind you. But there really shouldn't be any strain. And eventually you may be able to see right behind you and get a little bit of a swing going. Hmm. All the time, seeing whatever you're seeing and continuing to notice the contact of your feet. 
and then you're going to switch your gaze so that it's just right in front of you, almost as if you were walking in that direction. And then you can just let the swinging come to a stop. The last piece, what you're going to do is, again, open your visual field and you're just going to lift one foot, so just the heel first, and then without lifting your toes, you're going to softly slide them across until your foot is touching the other foot. And you're actually going to rest one foot on top of the other and slowly slide the sole of your foot up your own leg. Maybe you get to your knee, maybe you just get a little bit up above the ankle. Ooh. <laughs> and just play with that. Just play with it. And eventually you'll get to the place where you can stand with your foot this way and then you can actually bring your foot out away from your own leg and then bring it back and slide it down. So you go from side to side and what's important is that you don't lift the second leg off right away because you're looking for that ease in your neck and as you slide it across you're always touching something with the free, the free foot and you just slide it gently up your leg as best you can, as far up as you can, and then in the end you can experiment. Because by this time, your pelvis is very freely counterbalancing your head. And so wherever you move your foot, you're gonna have a very natural sense about how to shift and what parts of your body need to be allowed to move. Okay, I hope that was helpful. It's really, uh, it's been a game changer for me. Uh, so that's the best I have to offer. Thanks for watching the whole series. Peace and love, bye.